G'day everyone, Jeff Markham from the Band Association of New South Wales here and uh, I'm here with one of our sponsors, uh, One Music Australia and uh, particularly here with Catherine Giuliano who is a director of One Music Australia to uh, do a brief interview and have a chat and see and, uh, and find out a little bit about you guys and why you're supporting us and uh, all that sort of thing. How are you Catherine? I'm good, Jeff. Thanks. How are you? Oh, very well, thank you. Very well. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for your support, um, and uh, and that throughout the through the festival because it's uh, it's very important that uh, we get industry support, and uh, it's um, it's really wonderful having you guys on board. It's the first time I think that we've had one Music Australia supporting our events, and um, like I say, it's terrific to see the regulator really out there supporting the industry great I have a few it's questions lovely. for you yeah go for it <laughs> shoot away so tell us all about one music australia who you are um you. yeah so one music australia so we're supporters of um this this event which is fantastic and we're fairly new as one music australia we launched in 2000 july 2019 um, we are a joint initiative between APRA AMCOS and PPCA. So mm -hmm. APRA AMCOS represents songwriters and music publishers, so the cre creators of the musical work, the composition, mm -hmm. and PPCA represent the original sound recording, and uh, that, that's record labels and the performing artists. So One Music is the licensing body um, that licenses the public performance of music on behalf of those create music creators. So in the public sphere, when music is performed, right. and that's that's one music. So before it was two licenses were required. Now under one music, it's one license. So it's more of a. It was um, the initiative was created created to help music users to to streamline the process. Yeah, correct. Cool. Awesome. Because uh, I know that we've. Um, We've done a lot of work in, there's been a lot of work done to streamline the licensing, particularly for community organisations, community bands yeah. and that. Um, prior to a few years ago, it was rather complicated. But um, yes. the, the, it's the community music licence, I think. Community uh, music groups licence, yeah. 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 Where we've bundled a number of rights into that. Um, in, in fact, rights um, that never existed before we were able to put some more into there and yep. we even put in um um rights from print print publishers for the for the reproduction of the um sheet music yep. uh, for archive and rehearsal purposes yeah yeah yep. which is terrific when that was uh, when that first came out that changed the world for all of us really so i know it, it, and there's more really... we've discussed jeff there's more that could be done and oh, yeah. um you know hopefully the future looks bright and we are able to um you know incorporate a few more things oh, down, the, down the track hopefully. yeah hopefully so tell me why where 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 do you see how, how where do you see the community bands fitting into with one music and uh, and 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 why do you guys see it as really important to support the uh, community banding scene it's very important and i've actually written some notes so excuse me when i look down because i want to make sure that i get the, the point across that we're all part of a music community Right, so we're obviously one music, we're on the, the administrative side of it, but um, people who perform music have a really big responsibility. This is the way I see it, mm -hmm. because they, um, we know the impact that music has on humans, right? It, mm -hmm. it is, it, it's a science. It actually influences human behavior, but it, it only in a good way, right? It brings joy. To, to people. So the responsibility is, is that people who are performing music are um, affecting people's lives, right? right? So they're, they're, they're actually, um, and they're also um, inspiring others to do what they're doing, right? To actually get involved and to, to, to spread the love, so to speak. So um, community so bands in particular who are performing out there um you know doing their thing and and expressing their their art form 
um, are doing great things. And it actually helps to educate the public outside of the music community about what is possible, right? And actually can become a part of it. And, and if they don't become a part of it, they can just experience the joy, right? Of, of how music um, can impact their lives. And, and we know, you know that music makes people laugh and cry and it really does. Um, Absolutely. It's a, physical, it's a physical influence as well as a mental influence, especially in these times, Jeff, like mm -hmm. these really difficult times um, that we all, we're all a part of, the whole world is a part of. Music is one thing, right, that we know that can have a fantastic impact. So that's why we're, we want to support any um, music initiative or, you know, especially performers of music mm -hmm. um, in that space that they, you know, continue to do what they do mm -hmm. because they're the ones that do it best. Absolutely, absolutely, and uh, and and you know, the testament to that is the the number of bands that we've got involved in the uh, in this festival, and um, and certainly the joy that a lot of them that they're all getting out of uh, have gotten out of rehearsals and coming back and playing together and making great music, and uh, you know for some for some it. Will bring tears maybe but uh <laughs> but well, no, you know what and that and that's experience. that's right and that's what i didn't say also it's the joy of you know spreading the joy out there but it's the joy of expressing your creativity it's a, it's a form of expression mm -hmm. like i think everyone has within them some way that they can kind of um express themselves through art it's like painters or you don't have to be professional you know you mm -hmm. i mean i'm not a music creator right or any art form yeah I don't don't create anything up but my self-expression is through dancing just my right. own not I'm not a professional I just my own in my living room that brings me joy right so and then I go see bands I go see bands I watch people perform because that is my way of exp my self-expression of of enjoyment through art yep. and and so your band members exactly the same thing they can express their, it's their self-expression through that joy, that art form. Yep. Yes, absolutely. So you well, so tell us a little bit about yourself, if you don't mind. Um, do you no. play? Are you uh, do you play at no. all? Are you no? I'm a music appreciator. That's it. I'm a music appreciator. My background actually is um, television. Right. So I was a TV producer. For for in my early life and did a you know communications degree mm -hmm. um, and went through TV and then I have been working in music for probably tw over 20 years I was in the publishing side I worked in okay. at Warner Chapel in London right. for a period of time and um, so I've been in working in music for a while so my I love that's why you know One Music and the people that work at One Music okay. um, are passionate about music in general right even though we don't create it it's about supporting that being a part of that community mm. yeah and, 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 and supporting music creators yeah and it is all about for a, a community level it is all about the passion the passion for creating music and we all yeah. we all share that passion and uh yeah, look it's it's absolutely wonderful that you guys are on board with us and um and and we uh we very much appreciate the support and i do have just one last question for you if if you're on a desert island i ask this of everybody if you're on a desert island and you only had one album that you could listen to what would it be i know this is kind of it's weird but it's the thing um i love the stone roses and it'd be Stone Rose. Stone Roses is my favorite, one of my favorite band. Right. And um, it's my back catalogue, right? Mm -hmm. And I think I'd have to have their first album. Yep. Right. Cool. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. It's it's hard, isn't it? It's a it's um it's a tricky question. Because it's only one. You've only yeah. one. one album, only one album. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time. And um and and I'll let we'll let everybody get back to uh, get back to some watching and listening to some magnificent music, and I hope you're watching as well. Um, but uh, 
No, thank you so much, Catherine. And we, as I say, we really appreciate the support of One Music, One Music Australia. Well done. And well done for keeping this alive, this event alive and um, doing what you do. Well done, Jeff, to you in particular. So it's, it's a pleasure to partner with you guys. Uh, thank you so much. We've got a great team that's been working with us and that it's uh, nothing happens in isolation, obviously. Yeah. So, uh, thank yeah. you so much. And uh, I'll let, we'll let everybody get back to uh, get back to some great band music. Thank you, Catherine. Bye. Bye.